This is a quick demo using the GBD Flickr plugin with Adobe After Effects CS5. I've got a short clip with some pretty bad flicker. This is common in time lapse footage because of small frame to frame variations in camera aperture. I have two tracks in this composition. This upper one is turned off right now. It has a mask. Later on, I'll show you the before and after. To fix the flicker, I'll just take the GBD Flicker plug in drop it onto the clip and play. You can see how much it's improved already. Deflickering is a complex process and can take a long time. I'm showing you a low res sample for purposes of this demo. The default settings work well in most cases. Now that the clip is played through, let's look at the GB Deflicker controls. Above you have a histogram and below is a graph of the luminance over the length of all the frames that were processed. You can see in this case it was pretty smooth and then there were some variations. That's the flickering. The input variance was 4.0. I'm going to turn on some controls so you can see this better. First of all, this has some such bad flickering. I'm going to increase the number of smoothing frames up to 30. I'm going to say don't deflicker the clip. and show the histogram overlay. Watch how the histogram jumps. That's indicative of the flicker. Keep in mind I'm not deflickering this right now. Okay, I'll go back and turn on the flickering. Calculate the output histogram. And we'll run through the uh, filter again. Now that it's completed, you can see the effect it had. The black line is the luminance after applying the filter. The yellow is before. You can see how much smoother it is. And the luminance variance was reduced from 4.00 down to 0 0.59. That's quite an improvement. So I'm going to remove the histogram. Now I'll turn on that other track so you can see before and after. Here's the flickering before and how it's removed in the, after applying the effect. I hope you'll give GB to Flickr a try. It works with Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro CS5 and CS4 and Premiere Elements 9. Please go to tlabs.com.